Our planet is all set to experience a spectacular event in April that will leave viewers in complete awe. We are talking about 2024's total solar eclipse when the day will turn into night. The astronomical event is unique. No one has seen anything like it in a hundred years. Its rarity has also sparked religious and scientific discussions regarding the eclipse's implications. Why? Because April 8th, 2024 is a date when a lot of things will be happening around the world besides the special alignment of the sun, moon, and earth. The timings of these other events are so bizarre that it's impossible to ignore them as coincidence. From CERN firing up its Large Hadron Collider, to discover the God Particle to NASA launching rockets into the eclipse, and the return of billions of cicadas after 1803, multiple coinciding events have made the total solar eclipse of the 8th of April, 2024, a terrifying ordeal. Why is everything happening on the same date as the eclipse? Is this a sign of impending doom or something else? Let's find out why so many people are concerned about the total solar eclipse falling on April 8, 2024. A solar eclipse occurs when a new moon is positioned precisely between Earth and the Sun and casts its shadow on Earth. In comparison, a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon appears the same size as the Sun in the sky or slightly larger. This allows the moon to completely cover the sun's disk, allowing viewers to look at the sun's outer atmosphere or corona. On April 8, 2024, all of North America and Central America will experience a total solar eclipse. While most regions will only get to view a partial solar eclipse, areas within the path of totality, which is 100 to 123 miles, will see the total solar eclipse in all its glory. According to estimates, 4 minutes 27 seconds of totality is possible at Mexico's Pacific coast, but it will be reduced to 2 minutes and 52 seconds as the path exits North America at Newfoundland. According to NASA, this eclipse will be grander and more dramatic than any eclipse in the last 100 years. But there is much more to this event than its visual appeal. Let's start with CERN's Large Hardened Collider, which is set to fire up again on April 8th. The objective, this time, is to search for the invisible particles that are secretly running the universe. In 2008, CERN built a 16.8-mile, 27-kilometer ring of superconducting magnets colder than outer space that could slam particles together at near-light speed in an ultra-high vacuum. The $10 billion Large Hadron Collider, LHC, was the collaborative effort of hundreds of scientists and engineers globally. Hence, it's no wonder that this marvel of modern technology broke particle collision records from the time it became operational. However, whenever scientists create something to explore new knowledge frontiers, several associated risks pop up inadvertently. The Large Hadron Collider could collide particles at the highest energy achieved in a particle accelerator. That fact alone was enough to upset the balance of our current universe. People, including some scientists, feared the Collider's experiments might bring about the end of the world. Some hypothesized that CERN might create an all-consuming black hole, while others feared it would open a dangerous portal into another dimension or universe. Although the scientists experimenting at CERN have managed to quash these controversies, it's curious why they chose this particular date to restart the Collider's operations. What's even more curious is that scientists are experimenting to understand and reveal dark matter or God particle on the same date as the world, including a major part of the U.S., witnessing an act of God unlike any they have seen for a century. Could it be a coincidence? or is there a higher purpose behind the timings? Researchers at CERN have repeatedly asserted that they have no intentions of blowing up the world or accidentally cracking open the fabric of space-time. But here's a quote from the director of research at CERN that tells an entirely different story. Something may come through dimensional doors at LHC. Out of this door might come something, or we might send something through it. Does CERN still sound as harmless as mainstream scientists are making it to be? Perhaps Elon Musk had a point when he called the Large Hadron Collider demonic technology. Also, why did they place a statue of the Hindu god Shiva outside CERN when she is known as the goddess of destruction 
responsible for first destroying and then recreating what God made. Another curious choice. Let's move on to another event that's happening on the same date as the total solar eclipse. NASA is launching three rockets on April 8th, not April 9th, not April 7th, but April 8th. The rockets will be sent to study the solar eclipse, but what's surprising is the name of the mission, APEP. Now, according to NASA, the name stands for Atmospheric Perturbations Eclipse Path, but it's hard to ignore the fact that it's also the name of an Egyptian god. Apep is the god of destruction and chaos, and also the nemesis of Ra, the sun god. Why would NASA name their mission after the god of darkness and destruction that swallows up the sun god? Oh, and there's one more thing. There's a chance you will get to see a comet during totality on April 8th. Can you guess the name of this comet? We bet you never saw it coming. It's called the Devil Comet. The last total solar eclipse was in 2017, and the path of totality crossed some states in the United States. This year, the path of totality of the April 2024 total solar eclipse also passes through the U.S. In fact, it will form an X on the U.S. map with the 2017 eclipse. Now, here's an interesting fact. The last time we saw a comet during a solar eclipse with two eclipses forming an X over the U.S. was in 1811. And do you know what happened after the eclipse? The United States experienced the largest continental earthquake in its history. It was so intense that the Mississippi River flooded backward and the Liberty Bell rang on the East Coast. The Earth experiences two solar eclipses every year. Even though a total solar eclipse isn't as frequent as its less magnificent counterpart, it has never raised alarm nationally. However, this time, state officials are instructing people to keep their children out of school on the day of the eclipse and ensure they have extra food at home and extra gas in their vehicles. As a precautionary measure, the National Guard has been mobilized in all the cities that fall into the path of totality. But the question is, what are the precautions for? Why is the government worried about this total solar eclipse when it wasn't bothered by the previous ones? No, no. Are they concerned about another earthquake like the one that rocked America in 1811? Finally, trillions of red-eyed cicadas will emerge in numbers not seen in decades and possibly centuries sometime after April 8, 2024. According to experts, Two very specific cicada broods will emerge simultaneously in 17 states across the United States. Nobody knows the exact date they will emerge from the ground, but it will be the first time these two broods will be seen together. Even more fascinating is that the areas where billions of cicadas will be seen flying around are the same where the path of totality of both total solar eclipses meets. Is this another coincidence? Solar eclipses are a part of almost every religious scripture. In addition to ancient references to eclipses, religious texts, including the Bible and the Quran, connect them with significant events. For example, the Bible describes a red moon following Jesus' crucifixion. The red moon depicts a lunar eclipse. Similarly, the Quran mentions a solar eclipse occurred when the prophet Muhammad was born. For many ancient cultures, a solar eclipse was a sign of doom or destruction. Ancient Greeks saw a solar eclipse as a sign that the gods were angry at the king. Other cultures had legends about the disappearance, many describing a deity or other entity as swallowing the sun to explain the sudden darkness. Vikings believed an eclipse occurred when the wolf Skull, who pursued the sun goddess Saul across the sky, finally caught up with her. If Skull managed to swallow Sol, the world would be plunged into darkness, indicating the start of Ragnarok, a battle between the gods and the end of the world. Every culture has tried to explain the astronomical event in one way or another, but the theme remains consistent. They all looked at an eclipse as a sign of doom. And if we look at all the unusual events coinciding with the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse, it's hard not to wonder if there's a deeper significance to this unique alignment of the sun, moon, and earth. What do you think? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.